What exactly does that entail, sir? So let's make it simple. Today was two thumbs up. Tomorrow's going to be one thumb up. Sunday, showers, eh, you know, it's all right. We kind of need <laughs> the rain. And then Monday, one thumb up. Okay. Then next There's week. There's no thumbs down, though. Well, no, I mean, because nothing's really that bad. Nothing threatening, no advisories, anything like that. This is webcams at ksby.com. Hey, guy over there, nice job. Surfline webcams get you the surf forecast, water temperature, and more, and you can see what's going on out at the beaches, which may be important because tonight, later on tonight, more low clouds will start pushing into the area. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. By the way, we've had some interesting traffic, just a good amount of movement uh, down the 101. It's uh, lightened up here, but last hour it was still going. Mid 50s, low 60s across the area currently, and the winds have finally calmed down under 10 miles per hour. A lot of folks are going to be heading to lakes this weekend. They all look pretty good. Nacimiento's at 81%, Salinas 100, Lopez 60, Whale Rock about 90. San Antonio 41, Kachuma 81, Jameson 99, and Gibraltar about 101% of design capacity. We did get a sprinkle up in Paso Robles a little while ago. That little shower there from Monterey County drifting in, uh, that did produce a few raindrops, people reported. And we did have this little cluster here along the Santa Barbara Ventura border up in the mountains that just drifted over the 101 for a few drops there. But very, very minor stuff. The main action is coming in here, and it's going to take all day for this area of low pressure to come in and give us rain on Sunday morning. We could see some mist and drizzle from the marine layer, which is starting to push in. This is the big national story, all this flooding and severe weather over the plains. The severity has gone down, but the flooding is still there. Just days of rain. It's going to probably reform again tomorrow. Look at this picture from the microclimate model of all the cloud cover in tomorrow morning. And again, some spots of mist and drizzle and upper elevation convective activity once again, but most of that should drift out of the area. This is mist and drizzle now becoming more like rain early Sunday morning, and then the real rain comes in as we go between 6 and 9 o'clock, showers across the area. This is noon, it's still here, middle of the afternoon, still raining across parts of Santa Barbara County, then dissipating to on and off activity into early Monday morning. Most of Monday ought to be dry, can't rule out a few scattered showers, but let's take a look at the numbers here. Could see up to a half inch of rain. Models have gotten more excited about the system as we've gone forward in time here. Nationally, this is why we get all these uh, storms forming in this area. You can see a front is sitting right in there. Right now it's 47 in Butte, Montana. And that's an update for you, Dustin. You are welcome. Let's take a look at some of the numbers here. Overnight lows tonight in the 50s, daytime highs tomorrow in the mid 60s for most of the coast. So today we saw some 70s in the coastal valleys, 80s in the interior. You can see this big change tomorrow. Now we're still going to get to about 70 degrees in much of the deep interior, but at the coast it's 60 to 65. We're not going to see many 70s tomorrow at the coast. Extended forecast. Coming up a little at coastal areas, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but not dramatically. Santa Barbara only 73 by Wednesday, but Paso Robles 80 on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. We could even jump into the mid to upper 80s as we start to see some signs of a pattern shift.